Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing some major deep cleaning. I'm going to be deep cleaning this whole living room area here that you see on both sides of this fireplace. But first off I'm going to show you all of the cleaning products that I'm going to use today. First off I'm going to use this duster that I got from Walmart. I'll also be using this duster from the Grove Collaborative website. This white one is my favorite duster. I'm going to be using Method Glass and Surface Cleaner, Paper Towels, Pledge Multi surface cleaner I can use this on wood and all surfaces as it says this real simple stain treatment for if there's any stains on the sofas or carpets of course my handheld vacuum and then I've got some wood cleaner here and the extensions for my handheld vacuum So I'm starting my deep cleaning by taking my broom and I'm sweeping down any cobwebs that are in the corner of the ceiling or the walls. I always like to work from the top to the bottom when I'm deep cleaning just because when you're sweeping down those cobwebs and stuff, they're going to fall down onto the furniture that you're about to dust. So it's just a good idea to work from the top to the bottom. Next I'm cleaning these windows. I took that method glass and surface cleaner and I cleaned the bottom of the windows here. There just gets to be dead flies and dust down there. And then I also took that cleaner and paper towels and cleaned the windows as well. Now I'm going to work on dusting everything. I took that Grove duster and that multi-surface dusting spray and started by dusting the side tables and lamps. I'm going to clean this window. I started by shaking out these curtains and then I took my handheld vacuum and vacuumed the curtains, all the dust and any bugs or cobwebs that were in them. And I just love having a cordless handheld vacuum. It comes in so handy when you're cleaning. Then I took my duster and I got out any cobwebs that were in the corners of the windows and then I dusted the bottom window seal there. And then I just took my method glass and surface cleaner and paper towels and washed the windows. After that I took my duster and I just did a quick dusting of all the baseboards. And then I moved on to dusting by this fireplace here, started off by dusting off this fake fiddly fig tree, and then I worked on cleaning the fireplace here. I just took my handheld vacuum and vacuumed out any bugs or dead spiders or anything that was in this fireplace. It is actually starting to get chilly here in Arizona, especially in the mornings, so we might be using this fireplace before we know it. Then I took that handheld vacuum again and I cleaned off these couches and the pillows. I'm 
the last thing that I did was to vacuum the carpet and this rug and I didn't have to move these couches back to vacuum underneath them because I just recently rearranged this living room so I knew that it wasn't too bad under those couches. Okay, so now it's day two of the cleaning. As you can see, I'm wearing a different shirt, so obviously it's a different day. I had to split this cleaning up into two different days because I just didn't have time to do it all into one day. And I just did the exact same thing on this side of the living room. Started off by dusting the corners and the, um, the corners of the ceiling with the broom just to get down any cobwebs, and then I worked on dusting everything. So I have been putting off this deep cleaning for a while. I've been wanting to do a fall deep cleaning in my house for quite a few weeks now, but I finally just decided to do it and filming it kind of gives me that motivation to just do it because I need a video, so I'm going to film my deep cleaning. And when I do my deep cleaning, I like to split it up into different sections in the house. So like the first section <clears throat> is the living room area, which I'm doing right now. And the second section is going to be the kitchen and the laundry room. The third section is going to be the bedrooms and the bathrooms and so then all I have to do is just work in sections I can do the living room in two days and then maybe the kitchen I can split that up into two different days the bedrooms and so on and so forth so if you guys are wanting to do some deep cleaning you can deep clean right along with me maybe start with your living room like I did and then um, in the future I'll upload a video of when I deep clean the kitchen and then the bedrooms So we do eat over at this couch sometimes when we're watching a movie, so I had to pull the cushions out of this couch to vacuum under there. It wasn't that bad as I thought it was going to be, but um, I still had to do a quick vacuuming of it and then I wanted to move the couch back to vacuum under that as well and there was more crumbs underneath that couch than I thought there was going to be, so I'm glad that I moved it.
so now this whole living room area is deep cleaned it feels so good to have this done but now I still need to deep clean the rest of this house but I think that I need a few days break from deep cleaning before I get started on that and if you're new here I would love to have you subscribe just click that red subscribe button down below and be sure that you click the bell beside of it to get notified every time that I upload a new video and you can also follow me over on my Instagram I try to post on there as often as I can and I'll see you guys in my next video bye